wonderful freedom fighters, my returning subscribers and those who are watching from a distance, may the peace of the Lord, may the love of the Lord, may the spirit of thanksgiving envelop every one of you. Those who are watching from a distance, can you do your sister a favor? Go ahead and smack the red button and click the notification bell so whenever we upload, you'll be able to get notified. On this video, you are going to see the takeover of Nigeria by the Fulani Oligarchy, the wanderers who have found a new safe haven in Nigeria where the oils and all the natural resources is going to fund their jihad. And the more you keep quiet, the more people are dying. But Biafra have come to stay and we are not going to be slaves in our own land. I want you to watch. Mazen the carriage have been free to declare Biafra for Full and foreigners. And some people are have uh, 5 p.m. you know in somewhere. Fulani have taken over or uh, taken over Nigeria and we don't want to be slave. Okay. Now I want you to see something in the screen. I want you to see something in this in the screen. The uh, that thing I flash on the screen is for people who know what I'm talking about. Okay? Poverty of the state a check causes an army to be maintained by contribution from a distance. Contributing to maintain an army at a distance causes the people to be impoverished. You see, it causes the people to be impoverished. I know that uh, as a uh, I'm not expecting you to understand what I have just flashed on the screen. It is not for you to understand. And uh, I'm not going to explain why I flashed this in on the screen. But I know some certain people that are watching me now will understand. Those who this thing is meant to will understand. And they are going to understand it. I will flash it again. On the screen. Poverty of the state as checkward causes an army to be maintained by contribution from a distance, contributing to maintain an army at a distance causes the people to be impoverished. Because we know the condition we are into, people will not understand. But the people I am talking to understand me. Those that this particular thing I showed on the screen now is referring to they understand me very well and understand me very, very clear. Now, I want to tell you something this evening, this morning, depending on where you are watching from. Let us start from the African Charter of People and Human Rights. What does it say? Remember that I have been able to prove to you last time that armed struggle, which is the liberation movement or liberation, liberation struggle, in other words, is recognized by international law in order to liberate yourself and fight to free yourself, is recognized under international law. And not just uh, international law that is very far from us, that liberation struggle is recognized by African Charter of people and human rights. The Article 20, Article 20 of that African Charter recognized armed struggle. In fact, it, the, the, the Article 20 of that Charter encourages 
armed struggle. It encourages us if it is to go into armed struggle to make sure we liberate ourselves from foreign invasion, from foreign control. It encourages us. And I am telling you, the Fulani, like you know, there are foreigners, there are foreign invaders. Today they have taken over our land. They have taken over our natural resources. They control it. And so it, and they have, be, they are already, already claiming the indigene in our own land. Okay. And now as Nigeria is a signatory to it. And now not only that they are claiming in uh, indigene of our land, they are also making decisions that has to do with our future. And their major plan, their major plan is to take over Nigeria and turn Nigeria into Islamic State. These people are from Arab. They are Arab. You know what? You know, do you know what, uh, do you know how, how uh, Arab treat you? Do you know? Do you know how Arab treat? Not uh, Arab, all Arab are not bad. Though. <laughs> Because uh, not not uh, the fake, the fake and the wicked Arab. I am going to show it to you today. You see, sometimes when these things are happening, you need to open your eyes and open your sense of reasoning. So, the Article Twenty of that African Charter of People and Human Rights encourages we, the African people to go into liberation struggle, which is which involves armed struggle, to liberate yourself from the foreign invasion and the domination. Now, I have been able to prove with different exposition that Fulani conquest of Nigeria is a foreign invasion. The foreign invasion of our land and we must understand the language these people understand is language they are coming with. So we must make sure we'll be able to stand them with equal and opposite force. Now, they have been able to hijack our natural resources, the oil production, the oil exploration, the oil exploitation, and everything that has to do with natural gas. As I talk to you today, a Fulani man is one of the richest in Nigeria. In fact, I told you people that uh, I will expose that one that is uh, coming coming from Abuja to Boni every day to walk in Naja Delta, the place they, they name Naja Delta, Biafra, the name Naja Delta. He come with helicopter every day. He come with helicopter every day from Abuja. And the expenses or the upkeep of this man who reside in Abuja because the only thing that uh, Naja Delta is good is to milk the oil. is not a place to live. Naja Delta is not a place to live. So what did they do? They live in Abuja and work in Naja Delta. So I have come to show you in the same African Charter of People and Human Rights, which Nigeria is signatory to, what it has to say about the foreign invasion. Because everything we are going to do is backed by law, both international and local law. Both international and local law. Thank you very much, Alina Katan from Finland. I can see you. It is 1.56 a.m. in Finland. You are correct. And you are not sleeping. This is Saturday. But we are going to sleep very soon. I don't want to do this thing very quickly so our people can begin to think and ponder over it. Now, let me show you this particular section of Africa data the legal instrument 
Let us go. The last time I explained to you chapter 21, African Commission on Human Rights of People, African Charter on Human and People's Rights, African Charter on Human and People's Rights, Article 21. Article 21, what does it say? What does the Article 21 say? Article 21 of the African Human and People's Right says as follows. All people shall freely dispose of their wealth and natural resources. This right shall be exercised in the exclusive interest of the people. In no case shall a people be deprived of it. Does this reflect the Fulani controlling the Nigeria state today about the Africa Charter on Human and People's Rights? The answer is no. Two, in case of spoliation, the dispossessed people shall have the right to the lawful recovery of its property as well as an adequate compensation. Does Nigeria government Fulani who, who did not believe or they, they don't have they don't believe in these laws? Does the activities policies of the government today reflect the Africa Charter on Humans and People's Rights? The answer is no. This is the reason why we want to have a country, the country that have laws, workable laws are bound to progress. Nigeria can never progress because they don't respect law. Three, the free disposal of wealth and natural resources shall be exercised without prejudice to the obligation of promoting international economic cooperation based on mutual respect, equitable exchange, and the principles of international law. Did you see that? This number three emphasizes on the free disposal of wealth and natural resources. And, they, and this number three says it shall be exercised without prejudice to the obligation of promoting international economic cooperation. So we're supposed to be having a complete enjoyment of our natural resources without attaching to the obligation of promoting international economy. So is Nigeria obeying this law? The answer is no. Today, Nigeria controlled by Fulani then they have what you call subsidy. They, you know, exploit this oil, crude oil, they send it to abroad to another country, they refine it, they buy it back, they sell it at a higher price, at a higher rate. So when country who do not have oil will be buying the oil at a cheaper price, you that come from oil-rich country will be buying it at a higher price. When people who do not have natural gas will be enjoying the natural gas and all the dividends that it has, you that from, from the country where the oil and the crude oil that produce the natural gas and all that are coming from, or the mineral resources that produce the natural gas, you don't have access to it. Does that reflect the Africa Charter on Human and People's Rights. Article 21, subsection 3. Does they reflect it? The answer is no. We want a country where the law will be defined and we will respect the law for the progress of Biafra. We don't want to be in a country where nomadic people will be in government and all they do is plan to take over our land and position themselves to continue to exploit our natural resources to develop their 
futuristic uh, Islamic state in North Africa. Four, the uh, state parties to present charter uh, to present charter shall individually and collectively exercise the right to free disposal of their wealth and natural resources with a view to strengthen Africa unity and solidarity. This one, they are copying and they are doing it very well. This number four is the one that favors Fulanese. They copy it. That is the reason why you see them laying pipeline from Obibo up to Mauritania. They are laying, they are laying that pipeline. And that in, in, a, in a, you know, to, to make sure that they follow this particular uh, subsection four of the African Charter on Human and People's Rights. He says, state parties to this present charter, which is Nigeria is a signatory to this present charter, shall individually and collectively exercise the right to free disposal. Free disposal is laying the pipeline from Obibo to Chad, from Chad to Niger, from Niger to all of them, to, South, to all the Northern Africa from there to Mauritania. Free disposal of their wealth. They are exercising this particular chapter and this particular section of this uh, chapter because it is going to favor them in their Islamic state. The natural resources shall be disposed freely to strengthening Africa unity. You see? To strengthening Africa unity. This is it here. State party to this present charter shall individually and collectively exercise the right to free disposal of their wealth and natural resources with a view to strengthening Africa unity and solidarity. Full and need single this particular one out and today they are laying pipelines all the way from Obibo to Mauritania. But in the same particular chapter, there is this thing that says all people shall freely this particular chapter also say, number one, all people shall freely dispose of their wealth and natural resources. This right shall be exercised in the exclusive interest of the people. Are you going to say that the oil exploration in Niger Delta today and the Biafra land today is for the interest of Biafra people? The answer is no. <laughs> the answer is no. In no case shall a people be deprived of it. They have deprived you and they will continue to deprive you since the since the uh, the day they discover oil in Biafra land. They have continued and they started and continue to deprive you of that, that right. And then anytime they want to even listen to this law, they choose the one that favors them. That thing in this law say, in case of spoilation, the disposed people shall have the right to the lawful recovery of its property as well as an adequate compensation. Today we have seen Ogoni River. Ogoni River is covered, and not just only Ogoni River, but let me just use Ogoni River as an example. Ogoni River is covered in this particular subsection of this Article 21. Today, only compensation and the only uh, um, promise that they come to do. They say, we are going to clean Ogoni River. We are going to do this, we are going to do that. People do not know they are right. So when you know it, you know exactly what to do. This is law, international law that Nigeria signed to uphold. They uphold part of it and they don't uphold the other part. So the question you should be asking yourself is why? The only reason is because of the conquest, Islamization of Nigeria. The three say Free disposal of wealth and natural resources shall be exercised without prejudice to obligation of promoting international economic cooperation based on mutual respect, equitable exchange, and the principles of international law. So it does not matter whether Nigeria want to do anything with international community or anything. The number one thing is that they must protect the interests of the people, those who the 
their the oil come from their land they are not doing it now let us go let us continue to this number four which i told you now they are doing state parties to the present charter shall individually and collectively exercise the right to free disposal of wealth and the natural resources with a view to strengthening african unity and solidarity this one they are implementing it they are respecting this particular subsection like i have said before five state parties to the present charter shall undertake to eliminate all forms of foreign exploitation particularly that practice by international police so as to enable their people to fully benefit from the advantage deprived from their national resources you see and as i'm talking to you today this chapter five you are amazing people if the video interests you go ahead like share